Howdy folks, and welcome to Screen Rant. I'm Greg Elliott, and Quentin Tarantino's ninth film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, has been released, and it wouldn't be a Tarantino flick without a little bit of controversy, right? Of course not. So today, let's talk about Mr. Tarantino and his take on actress Sharon Tate in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. There will be some minor spoilers ahead for the film, so please keep that in mind before you watch any further. So let's start with a quick history lesson on Sharon Tate. Tate was the rising Hollywood star of The Valley of the Dolls and was married to director Roman Polanski. And in 1969, she and six others were killed by the followers of pseudo-cult leader Charles Manson and would have now become known as the Tate Murders. So it's already a bit of a touchy subject and there are some out there who have taken a bit of an issue with Tate's portrayal in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. When the movie premiered at Cannes in May 2019, critics mostly applauded the film, but some pointed out Margot Robbie's noticeable lack of screen time as Sharon Tate, with some going as far to imply that Tarantino was prioritizing male perspectives and storylines over their female counterparts. When confronted with questions about why Robbie had so few lines in the film, he reacted pretty strongly, at one point snapping, I reject your hypothesis, to the journalist who asked. Tarantino ultimately increased her screen time by two minutes in the film, but he said there was a good reason for her role as it is. He wanted to focus on the simple basics of Tate's life, not the horrible murder that she's normally remembered for. Quote, I didn't come up with a big story and have her work into the story so now she has to talk to other characters and move a story along. It was just a day in the life, driving around, running errands, doing this, doing that, not following some story, just see her living, see her being. In Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Tarantino chooses to not glorify the aspects of Tate's life that made her infamous, but rather focus on the little things that show you who Tate was as a young up-and-coming actress behind the scenes. There's a great scene in the film that gives you an endearing peek into her life when she attends a screening of her own film, The Wrecking Crew. At that point in time, Tate was famous enough to have her name known, but wasn't quite famous enough to be recognized in the street. She's optimistic, charming, and enthusiastic, which contrasts quite well against Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt's Rick and Cliff, who've got quite a lot of angst and skepticism in them. So I'm gonna go ahead and say there's not really much controversy in this for me. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood isn't a movie about Sharon Tate, it's a movie that just happens to have her in it. And I'd say it honors her by focusing on her life as a person and an emerging actress, rather than using her character to simply satisfy some minor female role. If anything, Tarantino gives Tate the Hollywood ending she never got. Similar to how he rewrote history in Inglorious Bastards, in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Tate isn't killed, and instead the Manson family gets some incredibly brutal retribution. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is a beautiful film. It perfectly captures a moment in Tinseltown history, while Tarantino gives it his own signature flair. Could Margot Robbie have gotten a little more screen time? Yeah, sure, but that wasn't the story that Tarantino set out to tell, and who knows, by showing Sharon Tate as the bright-eyed young personality she was, rather than the end to a horrible story, maybe the film will help change Tate's collective memory and pop culture to something a little less depressing. If anything, selecting rising star Margot Robbie to play the up-and-coming Tate is a bit of inspired casting, and she's got plenty of roles coming up with more lines to keep fans happy. So stay tuned to Screen Rant to keep up to date on all your favorite movie and TV news. I'm Greg Elliott, and I'll see you later, alligator.